I am Lou with another episode of My Car Story and we're in the western suburbs of Chicago and I'm with Doug Hodak. Doug has a great Studebaker. Doug, what would you bring today? 1953 Studebaker Champion Starliner. And this one, well, I think you'll enjoy it because you have to remember back in 53, nothing really looked like that. It's kind of like driving a bread box with a windshield on it back then. And this, well, this is quite the touch of class. Now, granted, we are in the Chicago area, so you might get a little wind noise, but we're just going to deal with that. And as you can see, they've got Studebaker there and Champion there. And take a look at this, not only the S that you can see for the Studebaker, but the nice V there and the great pointed headlights, the starting of the fin look, so etchings of the 57 Chevy, and this one won tons of design awards. But that's just a great look. How long have you had this one, Doug? Since 2003. Went down to um, Gulf Shores, Alabama to pick this up. Drove 24 hours straight. And with that, how, um, why the Studebaker out of all the cars in the world? Well, our family owned a uh, Studebaker dealership from 1934 uh, to 66 when uh, they went out of business. Um, the dealership survived past that, but uh, Studebakers have been in the uh, Hodak blood for, for a long time. So it was just a matter of time until you got one. Good for you. The great Studebaker emblem, so nicely where they put it there, instead of just all the way on the back of the quarter, etched the Studebaker there, the nice hard top look. A very short back window, nice curved glass, and the early fins in memory of your father I see there, wonderful. So tell me, with uh, why just the one reverse light? How'd that end up? Yeah, when I first bought that, I thought it had uh, one was missing, that someone made a mistake. This is actually an accessory, and you could buy left, right, or both. In this case, uh, the buyer wanted just the left one. And that's how that works, just like that, with another beautiful Studebaker badge there. Very clean design and a neat kind of turn to open that up with the word Studebaker. Just like that, and it opens up like so. But while we're back there, I want to mention that we'll do our trunk and treats. So here we are in our trunk and treats, and this one has such an extensive trunk and treats section that what we're going to do is make a separate video. So if you go into the description and you want to see Trunk and Treats, it's about a 10 minute plus video of just Trunk and Treats for this car. And there are some amazing things that we have for you. This is a facsimile of what a window sticker would look like because they didn't actually have one in 53. So Doug kind of created this with his pieces and the cost for this. But you can see the beautiful, the jack and the tire, you can see it taking a lot. Tell me about this mat now. This is a unique mat. Yeah, this is a very, very rare. This is the correct mat for the car. It is a uh, organic uh, flax material and they didn't last, you know, they rotted over time. The ones you'll see in cars now are uh, plastic and so forth with a hound's tooth pattern. It's a very rare, correct mat. How'd you find that? <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, I got it so long ago. I, yeah. I think it was word of mouth um, that someone had one, and I bought it for paid a pretty, uh, pretty penny for it, too. <laughs> and let's go back to our car. And we're back. One exhaust, single exhaust. Nice thin. May I open it? Sure. Thank you. I'm just seeing this nice design cue, too, off the side. You got a nice view of that which you normally wouldn't notice, but we got a little light to the side. A nice large grand door as your opener, which looks really cool. This is how you open the door here. This is your window. It's a three speed on the column and it has an overdrive. We're going to talk about that when we take a ride. But look at the, now are these switches or? Yeah, those are switches for headlights. Up and down or pull out? Uh, up and down. Mm -hmm. So like, a, uh, like an airplane, like a toggle. You get that feel to it. 
Very cool. That really neat Studebaker look in there. And let me do this. Let me take you back so you could see the overall instrumentation. Take a look at the bench seat on this one. And I really actually quite enjoy the back. Yeah, this is the, um, by the way, a couple things about the interior. This is the original interior. Uh, carpet's been replaced, but the original headliner, original upholstery. Wow. And what looks dirty is actually an ink dot pattern that's degraded over the decades. That's not dirt. I've tried to get it off, but it's, um, that's the original. That's how it is yep. when it's this old. Also, this is uh, what they call a spring special. It was a color combination that wasn't available during the normal production year. And yeah. the dashboard that you see in mm -hmm. the steering column, uh, those would have been in previous years Loma Gray. That's the color of the steering wheel, that battleship gray. Okay. So this, uh, that was a, a unique feature for this, this color. particular car. Got it. Let's, uh, let's take a look under the hood, shall we? Mm -hmm. So as we showed in the trunk and treats there, especially the extended version of that, there are different option engines. This one has the six. We can see that nice badge there. So clean. No missing the air filter. Six volt, six volt system. Yeah, positive ground. Got it. I do like the oil filter up top. That seems like that'd be, be convenient. Mm -hmm. That was an option. Is that right? Let's see the auto light there. The correct little six volt battery. Just really cool. Another auto light there too. Wow. Where's the braking? I don't see a master cylinder. That's under the uh, driver's floor. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So it wasn't that I was missing it. It's just that it's not up here. All right. Uh, show me. Let's go back for just a second. So it's uh, not the most convenient thing to, to check and fill up, but under here you have the cover, and and there is the wow. master cylinder. I would have never known that. Yeah. There's a little trick. Well, wow, that's great. And I'm noticing like two, what look like bright pedals. What what's the two? Br Why do we have two? Well, uh, on, on the left is your clutch and the two uh, buttons on the, um, on the floor. One is for the brights and one is the actual starting switch. So oh, you'll right. have the key on, you'll push the clutch all the way to the floor and that will start it. So that starts it. I see that there's a little tab mm -hmm. along the side that engages. Correct. Wow, with our heat and our... And these are our vents for the vents that you see there on the side. All right, let me let you... Uh, yeah. You want to see that? Sure. That's how that articulates. That would have let fresh air into the car. Wonderful. Let me, while you're right there, let me have you start it. <clears throat> Holy cow, is that smooth. At one point, when we first distorted, we could balance the nickel on it there. Let me listen to it idle. Although it looks like a rocket, this is the, the six. Get around. <laughs> wow. Doug, let's take it for a ride. Sure. Okay, so I'm with Doug and we're getting a red flashing light. Doug, what is that? That is our uh, optional warning light for the emergency slash parking slash handbrake. So like a gun, you grab the back of the trigger, push it in, and it goes in and we have no more light. Correct. And our Studebaker radio. Okay. 
So how do you like driving this one? I love this car. It's uh, it's the easiest to drive of all of them, even though if it's it's manual. Uh, it shifts cleanly. Uh, we'll show, is we'll show that three speed on the column there. And um, it handles very well for a car its age. Really enjoy this one. It's always been good to me. Well, it, uh, you know, with that six cylinder, you have that thing running so smooth. My goodness, it is absolutely Yeah, some quiet. guys refer to it as the silent six. It uh, <laughs> may not be overpowering, but it's quiet. The silent six, that is great. Let me just show people some of our ride. Okay, show me how overdrive works. So in overdrive, you go through your three gears. Yep. Uh, you get to a certain speed, yep. uh, and um, a circuit will engage. I don't want to get too technical here, but it'll kick in the solenoid for overdrive. Yeah. And the way that the uh, driver would do that is get to a certain speed and then let off the gas. The okay, car will naturally drop in. I'm below uh, speed right now. I have to get up on plane field. Okay. But then to um, come back out of overdrive, Let's say if you were passing someone on the road, you would uh, put the gas pedal all the way to the floor. It would break the circuit and put you back into third gear. Mm, okay. So that overdrive's got to be huge when you're on the highway. Oh yeah, cuts uh, cuts RPM by 30%. It's great for gas mileage. It preserves the engine. Um, I wish I had it on on my other car. Yeah, that is great. All right. So let's see if we can detect it here. In a okay. Second. Tell me what. I'm just enjoying the ride. All right. Now, let's see. I'm going to let off okay. the gas. I don't know if you felt it, but we just shifted into overdrive. A little hesitation there. A little. I just, and that's just yeah, letting off the gas. Yeah. So if you want to get out of overdrive, you basically nail it. Now it's right back. Out. You can hear the higher RPMs. Yeah. I yeah. let off. Now it's an overdrive. That is great. I'm letting people enjoy our drive. It's a beautiful car. It's just a beautiful car. A lot of people notice the dash, how slim and sleek it is yeah, compared you're right. to you know some of the, the more vertical dashes. Yeah, very, very thin, right? What a cruiser. Yeah. What a cruiser. It looks like it's a rocket, but it's really a cruiser. What is this? Uh, oh, those are the windshield wipers vacuum oh, okay. operators. Okay, all right, got it. Okay. And uh, anyone that owns an old car vacuum uh, windshield wipers knows that when you uh, go to pass someone and nail it, you lose your vacuum and they <laughs> stop right when you need it. Right when you need it. Uh, and then they'll go nice and fast when well, you. Well, what a fun trip! What a fun time! This car takes us right back to 1953. Doug, what a treat having you on the channel. Thanks for being on my car scan. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Thank you.